So here we are, an adorable little gray goo with floaty little eyeballs. You know how these games work. Our objective is to eat literally everything and consume all life on Earth and maybe even in the universe. But we start very quickly and easily destroying every single little dirt particle. And as we eat the little things, we level up, which allow us to eat a little bit larger dirt particles and turn us poo brown instead of just regular brown. And as soon as that little bar at the top of the screen fills up, we get confetti. And that levels us up to eating micro-celled organisms like this one. Hello, delicious bacterium. You are my next step in the evolutionary journey. But I need to stay away from whatever the pink spiky thing looks like and whatever the green spiky thing is is that like a dragon fruit i'm not very good in my my fruits mango maybe a spiky mango a spiky mango a thing oh it's spiky okay that is also a bacterium i didn't realize bacterium were cannibalistic but i guess i'm a bacterium now because i'll eat everything that gets in front of my mouth and you know someone's gonna be in the comments like actually blitz bacterium are blah 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 and then just copy paste the entire wikipedia article and then we're gonna eat whatever that green spiky fruit is which probably also has an entire breakdown of the wikipedia article on whatever green spiky fruits are but they are delicious i give you that also called bacterium in this game and somehow we just blitz through the entire level very quickly which allowed me to evolve to the outside world where i'm back eating clumps of dirt and whatever this green creature is is that an aphid it kind of looks like an aphid off grounded if it is i want to tame him and he can be my friend and we can eat everything in creation together i'll name him kevin because that's a good name for an aphid may you rest in peace also i'm very excited because there's a little thing right here and this looks to be a hash brown thing from mcdonald's oh also called the clump of dirt Seems about right. Yeah, that's kind of from McDonald's. Dump da dump. I'm gonna eat all of them, and my character said they're yummy. Oh wow, now I can eat the crunchy aphids. I'm sorry, we're not taking over the universe together. Your evolutionary journey is slightly different than mine. Which is why you're stuck in very, very small bodies and only eat plant things. Well, actually, Blitz, they don't only eat plants. They are they're fungus feeders or something. I don't know. You guys in the comments are amazing. I'll give you that. Except that guy you said first. You're not amazing. So now that I ate my last ladybug and piece of grass, we're moving up in the world to eating looks like berries? I don't know. Is there actually anything in here I can eat? Oh, I can eat a small fly. I don't know why it didn't fly away. Also, if you remove a fly's wings, it's now called a walk. You get it? Because because they can't fly anymore. I'll be done. So I am eating a lot of these berries. I don't know what those green ones are. They're grapes. Okay, the green ones are grapes. What are the red ones? Are the red ones huckleberries i didn't know that was a word i wonder what kind of berries these round white ones are are they golf berries they could be golf berries is a golf berry a thing probably crunchy ah uh, my first golf berry okay they're very very crunchy even the game is like a weird sound effect for them but i'm hoping i can eat the green leaves now no i have to go back to eating flies there's the green leaves you're delicious you're delicious you're also delicious my character is now a vegetarian who likes to eat baseballs. Which brings me back to eating even more. Oh my goodness, there's like a horde of rats and cats and animals after me. I don't like them. They're not very nice, but I will eat all the leaves. That's kind of cool. Oh, I can eat my first mousy boy now. Okay, we'll delete these out of the world. And we'll eat some rats as well. This level is turning out to be very, very easy. Everything wants to run directly into my digestive system. Unfortunately, the game's like, you actually have a time limit right now. You've got 13 seconds to complete whatever you're doing. Hot dang, am I gonna be able to eat all the creatures? Oh no, come on, can I do it? Okay. Oh, just barely, but that's fine because now there's people wanting to eat me or am I wanting to eat people? I haven't decided that yet. Oh, hello kitty cat, you're delicious. And there's some dogs chasing a cat around. I don't like them. I am going to eat the cats like Elf from the 1990s. And hopefully I can continue eating some hot dogs from the corner grocery store. And now I'm straight up human. Come back here. Oh, she screamed. Wow, that was a very sad sounding yell though. Come here, you're delicious. Oh, he got away. That's too bad. I'll have to eat some more cats and then that person. And then this person. Oh, the dog stopped it. She was trying to escape, but I didn't let her. This game got a little bit weird. Got a little bit weird. Something about the constant cats being sad and humans yelling is kind of unsettling. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit weird. Come back here, you're not allowed to flee. And I'm becoming larger than a human now, which is good because hopefully I'll be able to eat cars pretty soon. And speaking of which, I can now eat stop signs and I will be eating cars in just a matter of minutes. Oh, hello humans. I've eaten plenty of you already. You're not allowed to run away. Oh, look at all this big herd of humans over here. 
They are extra delicious. I have to conquer. Whoa, that dude just shot at me. That's illegal. I got hit by a taxi too. It's like a typical day in New York City. I can't wait until I can shove an entire taxi cab into my mouth. Do I even have a mouth like real talk? Don't you dare shoot at me, officer. Why does your bullet travel so slowly? That's weird. I'm just gonna have to eat you for your problems that you have. Whoa, whoa, don't shoot me. I'll eat you instead. <laughs> that was satisfying. My goodness, these guys take it forever to get eaten. Oh, hello, delicious taxi. It's revenge time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's hit the brakes. Oh, oh wow. Okay, things getting really dangerous now. What happens if I just like park myself right in this intersection? Oh yes, oh yes. It's not even worth eating humans now because this makes me grow so much larger. But there are a lot of humans over here, so I won't pass a gift horse in the mouth or whatever that saying is. Now I do have a minute and 54 seconds. That cop just shot three times at me. Don't do that, friend. I wasn't gonna eat you, I just wanted to eat the cars. Now look at my eyes go in circles too. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize I could eat the background trees, but I gladly will because they are del deciduous. Does that mean really tasty? I hope deciduous means really tasty. Oh, whatever this one is too. Oh, that's a coniferous tree. And now I straight up have to eat trains, but I'm not nearly large enough to eat trains. So I have to find something like this car over here. My goodness, I evolved quickly. Where'd all the cars go? Where are they? They are delicious. Yes, they is. Did you like my song? I made it up. Run away, little red car, run away. Oh, <laughs> he tried getting away. Hello, officer. Oh, I'm gonna chase him around. The turns have tabled, have they? Have the turns tabled, get hit by a train. Oh, oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> I didn't know that was actually possible, but I'm glad it happened. Not in real life though, that wouldn't be cool. Ooh, delicious trees are cool. And now I should be starting to eat the train. Very nice. And the little house, oh yes, we're literally destroying absolutely every piece of life here. I can't even get to the cars anymore because the trees are too tasty. Oh yes, it's gone. Wait, hold on. If I sit on this train track, will it continue giving me more trains? It will. This is nice. I'm just gonna eat everything right here. And somehow I've managed to go from seven meters to 29 meters in just a matter of seconds on this map. Every tree makes me nearly a half a meter bigger. I wanna eat these buildings. Can I eat the buildings? I can eat a building. I can't eat a building. Now I can eat a building. Oh, they are delicious too. Crunchy, full of protein and other delicious vitamins and minerals. So now that I'm big enough to eat everything on the ground, it looks like I have to eat everything in the sky too. Oh boy. Uh, there's fighter jets flying after me and some clouds. Ooh, clouds are delicious. Nice and, cr wait, what? How can you eat a cloud? Doesn't even make sense. Oh, but I can't eat a fighter jet. That does make sense. These clouds are also nice and airy. They go great for the weight loss. Actually, weight gain, because I'm gaining an insane amount of weight in this game. Just sitting here in the other clouds, pretending to be a cloud, until I jump out and eat another one, and then fight a fighter jet and its friend. And then there's a 747 and another. Why are they so close together? That's kind of against the rules. You guys gotta spread out a little bit. Don't crash and junk. Okay, I just ate another one. There's some there's some clouds again. I want to eat one of these hot air balloons. And a zeppelin, is that a right word? The dirigible? Oh, but now I can eat these things. <laughs> they sound hilarious. Okay, oh! I think that plane just crashed into another plane. That'd be terrifying, like in real life. Whoa, 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 bro. Don't do anything like that. What did I ever do to you? Stop eating me, shooting me. That's what I meant, I'm gonna eat you. So I have a nice billowy cloud, there's fog. Why do the clouds have different names? That one's big cloud, small cloud, fighter, oh, fighter jet, that's not the name of a cloud. Why am I eating those? I should be eating the other things, like the fighter. Wait, what's the big jet called? Big jet, jumbo jet, okay. So 737, 747, maybe an Airbus, ow. I don't like it when they shoot me. It's mean. But that makes me wonder if I can eat all of the clouds. Do I get to go to space next? I hope so. Oh, I do totally get to go to space. There's Sputnik. Why am I centimeters big again? Maybe I just lose a whole bunch of uh, volume and size when I go to the next evolution. Boom, boom. <laughs> Yay. Hello, little Sputnik. So these little meteorites are quite delicious. Nice and crunchy, filled with heavy metals. I like that. But Sputnik himself, oh, very crunchy too. Now I'm wondering, if I evolve a little bit bigger, will I be able to eat Earth? I mean, I'm only 69 centimeters big, but in the next evolution, what happens? Ooh, ooh, bigger satellites. That's kind of fun. They also make a lot of noise. I don't like them. It's kind of like just ear grating sounds. Oh, hello, little astronaut. <laughs> He's probably like, what is that little blob doing up here in space? 
Don't worry, I'll eat you in just a little bit, and all of your friends. Also, you're not tethered to some sort of spacecraft, so you're dead anyway, more than likely. Or it's just an empty suit, which is that one famous painting or the picture that was just an empty suit. It's just like the world's worst microwave when Hot Pockets are ready. It's just like, hey, hey, come get your food. Oh, can I eat the human? Oh, I can, you're delicious. Oh, he did scream, so he is alive. Wait, didn't it come out right? That's like things you don't need to know. The good news is everything comes the right side on this map, so I can just sit over here and like sandbag everything. And once I become big enough, I can eat those satellites that are still hanging out there. But I'm just hanging out on the right side of space, eating everything that comes my way. Oop, little guys. <laughs> and, well, humans. And come here, you can't escape me. I have been sent to space to clean up the space junk. Conveniently, space junk is named Carl, and there he is. Hello, Carl, you're space junk now. And I can eat the satellites, good, because they're annoying sounding. Oh my goodness! I don't want to know about my car's extended warranty. Stop contacting me. Oh, balls. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I need to eat everything. Oh, please don't make me redo this level. Oh, just barely in the last second. Oh, now there's a ton of bad things flying my way. I got to capture everything. Okay. The meteorites are easy. That's fine. What are these? Why are there space shuttles shooting lasers at me now? Did they just crash into each other? I think they did. They're the worst space shuttles ever. Uh oh, they're gonna shoot me again. <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it. Anything I can do to eat you better. Is that how the song goes? I just really want to eat these little whatever Apollo crafts. Oh no, 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 no. Stop shooting at me, bro. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> Except like eat the entirety of Earth and all of mankind. Nope, nope, nope. Dodge, duck, dive, and weave. You can dodge a space shuttle. You can dodge a. I don't even know. Oh. Dodge, dodge wrench. There you go. Nope, nope, he shot me, he shot me. Man down. Actually, that wasn't so bad. And now I can eat the space shuttles. Oh, that was satisfying. They're kind of crunchy. Oh no, stay away from the blue shuttle man. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in this game and I've been playing it for like two hours now. Oh, they died. Oh, it's so sad. Stay away from me, you're evil and mean. I guess they could probably say that about me too. Am I the bad guy? I feel like I might be the bad guy. I also don't think that space shuttles were meant to maneuver in the directions that they're moving right now. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I dodged it, but I got hit. Oh, there we go. Blue, 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 blue. Got him. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty color blue that I turned into. Now I'd like to eat every single space shuttle in the entire universe, which is only like two now, isn't it? Because of Challenger and the other one. It's made me sad inside all of a sudden, but that makes me hungry inside too. Oh, I'm so close. Only 15 seconds remain. I've got like, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, now we have the space station hanging out up in here. Yes, need up the entire ISS. Uh oh, okay. These shuttles don't care. What is that? I don't, I'm scared of that. It's chasing me. What happens if that goes into the space shuttle? Is that like a plasma ball of something dangerous? Is it the Q consortium? Hey, come up here. Hey, hey, ugly. Hey, hey. Okay, so it doesn't harm the spaceship. Ooh, here we go. Okay, I'm leveling up quickly now. It does chase me down, so I'm scared of it. Oh, but now I can eat it, whatever it is. That's an energy entity. Huh, that's a little bit scary that there's energy entities floating around in space. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Everything about space is a little bit terrifying, isn't it? That we're just this little tiny dot in the edge of the universe in the Milky Way galaxy with no known life anywhere else in the ever. Ooh, except the space shuttle. There's no life there. And that space shuttle in this one, and then that one, we just made space shuttles extinct again. Wonder how crunchy and delicious the International Space Station's gonna be. Just kind of want to, like, coat the outside in my ectoplasm or whatever I have that makes me fly in space so they know that I'm coming to eat them. The time has come, the walrus said, to eat of many things, of spaceships and stations and eternal things. Did I make good? I, like that was that was doing poetry and junk, except I changed the words. Woo! So proud of myself. And ta-da, we leveled up so now there's aliens shooting at me. Not just, not just spaceships. I mean, UFOs are spaceships. Maybe these aren't aliens. There's a conspiracy. I watched that documentary with Will Smith called Independence Day. I know for sure that these are, wow, whoa, whoa, they're not friendly. Not gonna lie, this might be the most difficult level that I've played yet. These things are really dangerous and I'm running out of time. It's okay, I've got this, I've got this. Every bite I level, ow, 
up another meter. I just need to be very careful and getting all of the meteorites and ducking in between all of the asteroids so they can't shoot me. Woo <laughs> I'm very, very sneaky right now. Oh, this isn't good. Oh my goodness. I'm so close to being shot every single place I go. Stop it. Oh my, stop, just stop. I haven't made, ow. I haven't done anything bad to the aliens, just the humans. Except the aliens might be on Earth. That was part of Men in Black, wasn't it? Oh boy, we're hitting all of the 90s movies now. Was Independence Day 90s? Might have been like 99 or something. Oh, this is really bad. There is no way. Oh, the times have turned. The tables have turned. I'm eating every UFO now. Ooh, I turned a little bit of green, like a little alien creature. I'm also 790, 826 meters big, which is gigantic. This is the biggest I think I've ever been in this game, but it makes sense because I'm eating alien entities now. Oh, we're so close. Die! Yes, yes, yes! And I start again at 10 kilometers, Ooh. which is, oh, what is that thing? I really don't like that thing. Please stay away from me, weird energy crystal beings. I've done nothing wrong, I swear. Except, you know, eat all life in the solar system. But that's not my fault, it was delicious. Oh, energy crystal. Oh, it's just a different colored energy entity. Makes sense. No, oh, that one was bigger than me. I almost lost the entire thing right there. There we go. And you're not edible yet. You still need to be cooked for a little bit on 325 degrees with some nice hickory smoke pellets in there and mmm, delicious. Maybe wrapped in bacon. Although a strip of bacon 68 kilometers long would be absolutely deliciously terrifying. So now I should be able to fit every single energy entity in my mouth hole. I just have to find them when they spawn. Hey, there we go. And that's the last level right here. Do we get to eat the earth? We do get to eat the earth. Oh, and the moon. Wee, look at me. I can go so fast. I'm in orbit. Yay, I'm gonna eat it all. As soon as I eat all these asteroids. Wow. Okay, maybe I should just save the earth because it's gonna get destroyed anyway. Doesn't look like the atmosphere is protecting the earth right now. Magnetosphere? Anything, any sphere. Nothing is saving the earth from all of these asteroids. I'll do what I can so you don't have a bunch of holes in you like Swiss cheese. Like seriously, if there was an asteroid that big coming at the earth, we would all be like red goo right now. I mean, these things are nearly as big as the entire moon. And the last time we got hit by something that large, we actually created the moon, if I remember right. I mean, I wasn't there obviously, but I think that's the way that the origin of the moon is. like as something the size of Mars hit the Earth and then burped it out into space. But now if I get to become the size of Mars, then I can scoop up the moon into myself. I'll just pretend to be the good guy for now. Because that ball of water looks delicious. Oh, there goes the moon. Okay, I just need more of them. Can we have more moons just so I can eat them to become larger and I don't have to eat asteroids for the next 18 minutes? Actually, 33 seconds. How come my I'm, I'm megameters big? Where's everything else? I need to eat. Oh. Okay, now I'm in the solar system. Uh, there was more levels. I was wrong. Mm. Okay, I'm eating the asteroid belt. This is great. This is great. I wish there were more. Why are there aliens again? Okay, we're just we're swimming counterclockwise in the asteroid belt, and I am totally gonna eat the Earth in a matter of seconds. Yes, there goes the asteroid belt. There goes whatever that thing was. The aliens are dying. There goes the Earth right in my mouth. <laughs> and yes, the solar system is mine. I am gonna eat all the life in the... Why are these aliens like the size of entire planets? That's what I really want to know. And then there's Neptune and Uranus. Whoops, we crashed into Uranus. So always fun and games until someone crashes into Uranus. Oh, killed it. That might've been, that was Neptune. What's that one, Jupiter? And that one's Saturn. Okay, did we already eat Uranus? Can I say that out loud? It feels dirty every time I say that. There goes Saturn. <laughs> Goodbye solar system. I'm now 36 megameters big. I don't even know what that was. There's Uranus. We finally ate it. And an alien just got scooped up by Jupiter over here. There's little pebbles that keep coming from this side of the map. I kind of like eating them because things are crashing everywhere else. Mmm, get a nice little suntan before that thing just got crashed into, your, uh, into Jupiter. Okay, cool. We'll eat those and then I need to find some more to eat like that one. Why don't you just crash into the sun? No! So we'll eat Jupiter now and eventually we'll eat the sun. But I tell you what, my friends, that'll do it for Tasty Planet. Hope you enjoyed our video today. We ate everything in the solar system. But thanks for watching. You can keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brent, 
Fred, Dalton Z, Scatter D, Grayson, Alvora, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Please, Kodino, Fussy Badge, Rit the Warrior, Sniper, Noland, Kyler J, Pink Tiger, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ral, BC Engineer, Sakars Marax, Spencer T, Whiskey, Endless, Xanius, Auto Dave, Ben, Nikki J, Teddy Hippias, Ninjor, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, and Kikin H.